expeditious divestiture of government interest in various entities across several sectors through privatization. We expect the capital markets to rise to the occasion and mobilize capital and give the taxpayers excellent value. Again, as I made a commitment when I came to um, this stock exchange, this securities exchange uh, last year, I made a commitment that government is going to divest so that we can democratize our wealth and allow more Kenyans to own a piece of uh, what is Kenya and uh, especially entities that are currently Kenyan owned. Uh, um, when we went to run with that exercise, we found that the law that existed had, was actually the biggest impediment to any um, privatization. It's a law that has been there for the last almost 15 years and it has made it impossible for any divestiture to happen and for any democratization of what is owned by government to be undertaken. Yesterday in cabinet we approved a new law that will provide mechanisms for Kenyans to own part of what is Kenya. And I am looking forward to the Nairobi Stock Exchange, to the Securities Exchange here, to provide the necessary capital for Kenyans to buy into uh, these entities. Additionally, it is of particular importance for me to emphasize our strong expectation that Kenya's capital markets can and must be revitalized by enlisting the participation of micro, small and medium enterprises as well as the large multinational companies that have set up business operations in Kenya. Listing these vital actors will deepen and invigorate the capital markets considerably. I am looking forward to days in the very near future when we will be reporting every Monday and every Thursday to be the days that were traded highest in the Nairobi Stock Exchange. My second visit to the Securities Exchange today underscores the understanding that as a strategic actor in the economy, the capital markets fraternity is going to play a central role in supporting our economic recovery in the short term and national socioeconomic transformation in the long term. With its impressive diversified product offering, I am confident that the NSC can facilitate investors to construct strong portfolios across a broad range of globally attractive investment products. Like other developed markets, our capital markets now offer quasi as well as advanced products including real estate investment trusts, exchange, exchange traded funds and derivatives. Besides, I am encouraged to note that the NSC has invested in world-class infrastructure to enable it separate trading from post-trading activities. As a result, a platform for novel products like day trading activities has emerged. Additionally, this infrastructure provided much needed resilience which enabled the NSC to weather the disruptions occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. It is clear, therefore, that the NSC is the ideal institution to power our economic resurgence and finance our national socioeconomic transformation. It is also clear that the NSC has invested intentionally to position itself as the most attractive hub of highly attractive local, regional, and international market activity. It is ready. From where I stand, it is ready, capable, and aligned. Any entity wishing to list an offering will do well to make the NSC its first, maybe best, maybe only choice. This is what CPF financial services have done with these inaugural reads, and the reasons are abundantly clear. I commend the CBF services for delivering or developing a product that astutely aligns the interests of their investors with our transformational agenda in a highly rewarding sector. This kind of visionary problem solving strategic imagination is needed 
to usher our capital markets and economy back to its traditional pioneering place. At this point, I wish to emphasize the government's commitment to sound, consistent, stable, and predictable investor protection mechanism consisting of an impartial and transparent regulatory framework. We shall not compromise on our quest to establish and maintain a standard of leadership, governance, and management in our capital markets that inspires the confidence of international capital markets actors and investors in order to reverse our recent negative uh, performance. It is our intention to give comfort to local and international investors through credible and effective institutions and reactivate our dormant central depository investor accounts. And let me say here that uh, something that was raised by members of the uh, Nairobi Securities Exchange uh, about the availability of uh, all the dollar constraints, not just in our economy, but globally. That as a government, we have uh, made uh, innovative intentions and undertaken uh, innovative uh, strategy to ensure that we ease the burden of uh, availability of dollar in our market. Um, we just concluded last week um, a, a, an arrangement, a market-driven arrangement in our fuel sector that will see Kenya access all our fuel uh, needs on a deferred six-month credit. That will, that will eliminate a demand of $500 million every month from this market. And therefore, uh, for the people who work numbers, I am giving you free advice that those of you who are holding dollars, you surely might go into losses. <laughs> you better, you better uh, do what you must do because uh, this market is going to be different in a couple of weeks. And uh, secondly, uh, we, through the central bank, we are having conversations to reinstate the interbank exchange uh, market that has since uh, not worked. And I am happy that the players in that sector, including our banks, are coming forward and they are participating and uh, they are working with the central bank so that we can again uh, take charge of our market and that it is not allowed to be distorted by uh, brokers. I'm told the only place where brokers are accepted is at the exchange. <laughs> Anywhere else, they are banned. Uh, and so I just want to assure uh, those uh, in Kenya who uh, were, were facing uh, challenges of access to dollars that we have taken uh, steps to ensure that uh, dollar availability in the next couple of weeks is going to be very different because our fuel companies and uh, will now be paying for fuel in Kenya shillings. They do not have to look for dollars every month because we have uh, done what we must do as government to ensure that we ease the burden on people who want to um, uh, uh, realize their returns in dollars. And uh, I was being told by the chairman of NSC, so Mr. Chairman, you have nothing to worry about. We have taken adequate steps to make sure that uh, that is sorted. Let me also confirm to you that um, uh, the government of Kenya, as I made a commitment, we are going to be listing public-owned entities uh, uh, shortly. And uh, I, I, I like the fact that you have said you are ready to take me on. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, let, let's see. So um, I, 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 I never lose sight of, uh, of this contest because in uh, my desk, right in front of my desk, is the, is the bull and the bell you gave me when I came here the <laughs> last time. 
I also want to give you my commitment that the business and investment environment in Kenya is secure and conducive on a sustainable basis. Through the rule of law, the government will take robust measures to honor and respect the right of all and measures uh, and demonstrate. Uh, let me take that again. I also want to give you my commitment that the business and investment environment in Kenya is secure and conducive on a continuous basis. Through the rule of law, the government will take robust measures to honor and respect the rights of all and demonstrate that no one is above the law by decisively combating impunity, lawlessness, and disorder. We have a duty to ensure that every worker and every hustler from Amamboga, MSME, to the global multinational corporation operating in Kenya enjoy a conducive environment to pursue their goals unhindered. There is no reason whatsoever for anyone to stand in the way of free enterprise, disrupt business, or sabotage economic activity, or work as economic terrorists for personal selfish interest. Such impunity must be dealt with firmly and full accountability enforced to vindicate Kenya's commitment as a free market economy. Once again, I congratulate Lab Trust and CPF Financial Services for this outstanding achievement and now to declare the Lapstop Imara is officially listed. The Lapstop Imara IRITS is officially listed by introduction on the main investment market segment of the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Congratulations. God bless you. And God bless Kenya. Asante sana.